let me go and introduce our artists today. Uh, please welcome Andrew and Emily of Mandolin Orange. So welcome guys. So we were just talking backstage, so you guys have a lot of touring coming up. Tell us a little bit about what you kind of are expecting this summer, festivals and, and dates. Um, we were just talking where uh, we started a kind of two month tour on May 1st. So we're at our halfway point now, which is exciting. Uh, but we got a bunch more festivals this summer and we're on our way to the West Coast and yeah, keep them busy. Very cool. And you've got a really big date coming up in October. Tell us what you guys are going to be. Oh, Austin City Limits Festival. Awesome. Uh, out of curiosity, how many people have ever been to Austin City Limits? Yeah, great place for music. So, um, And you've got to talk about the new album, how that's been coming along. Yeah, the, the album came out May 5th, and uh, we've been playing a bunch of songs off of it. And, uh, it's, you know, it's just always good to put out new music and... and start introducing new songs into the set, especially when you're out for two months. So, uh, yeah, it's been great, and uh, we're really excited to have it out on Yep Rock Records, and uh, they've been great in helping us get some of these festivals label, and all yeah. that good stuff. Yeah. So you guys started about six years ago, got signed about two or three years back, right, with Yep Rock. Yep. What's that journey been like to see a label get behind your music and then to see the fan base growing now, Austin City Limits? Um, it's a weird journey because they're, the roads all over the United States kind of yeah. go in and out. So uh, it's been that up and down the road around the united states a yeah. lot so yeah it's been good though i think for us you know sort of building up a team of of folks in the industry that we're like-minded with about how we want to do things and it kind of gives us a lot of confidence to being able to work with a, a label and 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 booking agents and stuff it, it kind of puts a little pep in our step and makes us feel like we are doing what we should be doing yeah so. definitely so what was the process like recording the last record? Who did you work with? And uh, how did some of the songs come together? Um, so the songs came together um, over the course of, I guess, 2013 and uh, the beginning of 2014 on the road. Um, and we did it at Echo Mountain in Asheville, North oh, Carolina. Yeah, right. It's a great studio. And uh, we had a, a great engineer, Julian Dreyer, did all the engineering for it. And uh, Emily and I came together and produced the record. Um, together I think between the two of us we make one good production mindset and uh, I had uh, Josh Oliver who's a great great songwriter and great guitar player and keyboard player came in and played a bunch of stuff on it so yeah, it was all pretty much track live and then we kind of set back we'd listen to the live take and then assess from there what we wanted to do to that yeah. so yeah I've read about like when uh, Gillian Welsh and Dave Rollins work together the same kind of process of really listening and evaluating but you get so much more out of the takes just from getting the the actual emotional connection of people playing live in a room together. Yeah, I think that was uh, a lot of what played into us recording that way was because we last year was really the year where we started touring a lot. We were pretty much on the road all of last year, and so I think when we went to the studio, we were so locked in to playing live together that it made it really easy to make the record that way easier than tracking it out and then having to sort of have the pressure of making everything perfect. Right, when you right. do it live, you just kind of have to go with the best one you can get. Yeah, <laughs> and it, I think it puts a good discipline on the takes that you get too, yeah. and getting really good content. So, yeah. well, it's a great segue. Let's get some songs uh, from that album and yeah. hear what you guys been working on. Sounds so, good. Again, I welcome, if you want to come closer to the stage, you're more than welcome to, just maybe stay out of this shot, but please welcome Mandolin Orange. bottles in the yard will never steal my mind again mm -hmm. like old ties and companions just sitting on a fence the tunes we've carried through the years will change man that's just enough to keep these ghosts around those haunted few Old ties and companions You and I, we're just passing through Thank you. 
Hundred thousand miles of lonely track Holding back tomorrow Someday I'll hop along and ride it home Ties and companions, Lord, we never leave alone. So, old man, give me endless time, never let these ties sever. Cause heaven knows when all this fooling round, these times won't last forever, after all. Well, they always say that bluegrass and metal are kind of similar. There's a lot of shredding going on, so we're just going to shred as hard as we can. I don't think we'll win the volume contest, but we're going to take it as inspiration anyway. Another new one, it's called That Wrecking Ball.
so plain I'm the keeper of nothing But an old flame Consuming the shadows Caught in the light Blinded by hunger Darling, you came to me like a dream in this endless place. My heart was reaching, so tangled and twined, like vines in the willows, a serpentine killer bound by. Darling, you came to me in the glory I'd long to find. Stars had all gone. My heart was broken, lost and alone. Darling, you came to me like a beacon leading me home. Y'all, we're playing in the cabin at 845. So. Does anybody want to hear one more? Want to take off? You got to talk to more. Here's a love song. We haven't played this one yet today.
ease my mind and tell me I am right Just for one night Find the kindness you withhold Even old this fool can never leave Haste make me Good company Thank you so much. Thank you. Give it up for Mandolin Orange.